Ave Maria, this is Father Angelo with Standing Fast, weekly commentary on Catholic life in the public square. The rather lugubrious title of Let Death Be Your Guide is something I've chosen because I read a, a blog entry uh, on the art of manliness about uh, the spirit of a warrior. Um, and uh, I didn't entirely agree with the post, but the idea of letting death be our guide as a, as a sort of rule of life is very important and uh, it's one that is well established in the Catholic tradition and it's a manly way of thinking of, of life. Uh, we're taught in religious life and uh, even in the catechism that we should think about our death and uh, recognize that we are headed for judgment and that's the goal. You know, everything hangs in the balance. You know, we're at cosmic war. The, the spiritual life is a war and in the end of life, at the end of life, we either uh, are completely victorious or we're complete failures. In the end, uh, there's not uh, four last things, death, judgment, heaven and hell. There's only three for each one of us in particular. It's either death, it's death, judgment and then either heaven or hell. There's no in between. Purgatory is a, is a stop along the way for those who are going to heaven. So everything hangs in the balance and there's either ultimate victory or ultimate failure. And we should think about that. And the saints tell us that we should keep in mind our death to such an extent that our choices should represent what we would want to be doing in our last moment. And therefore, let death be your guide. What would we want to do if this was the last day of our life? There's a beautiful prayer, a devotional prayer that sometimes is framed and hung up in sacristies for priests to read as they begin Mass. And it says something to the effect that, Priest of God, let this celebrate this Mass as though it were your first Mass, your last Mass, your only Mass. Go before the altar of God as though as soon as you finish this Mass you were going to drop dead. And I think if we had that attitude, we would see things much differently. There's a story about uh, St. Dominic Savio, who was a student of St. John Bosco. And he, of course, as a saint, was a very holy young man. He was only 12 or 13 years old when he died. And uh, he had this right perspective. One time, uh, St. John Bosco found St. Dominic Savio uh, playing with his friends during recreation. And uh, St. John Bosco went up to him pulled him aside for a second, as he did sometimes when he was in the presence of the boys as they were recreating, and he said, if you knew that this was your last day and that within an, within an hour you were going to die, what would you do? And St. Dominic Savio said, I'd keep on playing. Because he had always thought that way. He had always thought about what he would want to do if it were his last moment. And, and really, it's not about uh, thinking in a lugubrious way about death and about the fact that we are headed for judgment. It's about thinking that, you know, we have a limited amount of time here on earth and the Lord deserves the best that we have. And it's a manly thing to stand up and do our duty because it's the right thing to do and because our Lord deserves it. And it's not always easy and we fail and we can repent and go to confession, but we really need to cultivate that ideal. We need to think about it, you know, and think before we act and, and take responsibility for the choices that we've made and make acts of humility so that God will give us the grace really to be heroic, to be heroes. You know, the heroes in our uh, ad epic adventures and the stories that we love and the historical ones, the, the winners of the uh, Medal of Honor among our military men were men who faced death. They, and it wasn't entirely without fear but they were willing to stand in the breach when others would not. And that's what we need to do. We need to let death be our guide and uh, do that in the grace of God and under the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Till next time, this is Father Angelo for Standing Fast. God bless you and keep the faith.